Okay, now today we are going to look at writing a number in expanded form. Uh, starting, you need to know a little bit about place value of the digits. If we look at the first number, 6,841, you must know that the sixth digit is actually in the place value of the 1,000s place. The next digit, the 8 is the 100s, the 4 is the 10s, and of course the 1 is in the 1s place value. So we start by looking at the first digit. We work from left to right, just as you would read. And the first digit we come to is, of course, the 6. Now the 6 is in the thousands place, therefore we will multiply 6 times 1,000 to give us 6,000. And we will put an addition sign in between the plus sign to make this expanded form so that it is, in fact, a sum. The next step that we must do is look at the next digit to the right, which is an 8, and it is in the hundreds place. So we must take 8 times 100, and that tells us that we have 800. And again, writing that addition sign just to the right of the number. As we work our way from left to right again, we have a 4 in the tens place. And 4 times 10 is, of course, equal to 40. So 40 will be the next number in our expanded form. Again, writing the plus sign. And left with the last digit in the ones place, 1 times 1 is, of course, equal to 1. In expanded form, we have 6,000 plus 800 plus 40 plus 1, and that is equal to 6,841. Next, we're going to take a look at a little bit larger number. Um, the only thing necessary to know is, again, the place value, and we have the 4 and the 5 now. The 4 being the 10,000s place and the 5 being the 100,000s. Working from left to right, we start with that 5, and 5 times 100,000 is equal to 500,000. So that will be our first number in our sum to show expanded form. As we work from left to right, we then put in the plus sign, of course, and move on to the next place value, which is the 10,000s. 4 times 10,000 is 40,000. You guessed it. So we have 500,000 plus 40,000 plus, looking at the next digit to the right, we come to the 2. This 2, then, is in the thousands place. So we will multiply 2 times 1,000 and we will get the product of 2,000. Again, putting those plus signs in between. As we work from left to right, again, we come to the 9, which is in the hundreds place. Now, even though you see 90, we're just looking at the hundreds place value. 9 times 100 is equal to 900. Now, normally, we would look at the tens place next, but with a zero in the tens place, zero times 10 would be equal to zero. So we simply skip over that place value and move on to the ones place. When we come to the ones, we have the three and three times one, of course, is equal to three. Make it into a sum and now we have an expanded form, 500,000 plus 40,000 plus 2,000, plus 900, plus 3. And that gives us a grand total of 542,903 in expanded form. When we go to the next page, I can now bring this number down, and we have a decimal value. Uh, same concept, but we have a decimal involved. So we're going to look at place value again. The number is 54 and 65 thousandths. The place value of the first digit from left to right is the 5, and it is in the tens place. 
So 5 times 10, of course, is equal to 50. Simply write that number down as a whole number, and don't forget your plus sign in between. The next digit that we come to is the ones place, and we find a 4. 4 times 1 is equal to 4. No need to write the decimal. We can simply write 4 times 1. Working left to right again, we come to a 0 in the ten tenths place. This 0 we could multiply times 1 tenth, but there would be no reason to do, the, do that, so we move on to the next digit, which is a 6 in the hundredths place. Now 6 times 1 hundredth is actually equal to 6 hundredths. So we will put our plus sign in, and then of course write down 0 and 6 hundredths. Plus, looking at the next digit, we come to a 5. Again, this 5 is in the thousandths place. We need to multiply 5 times 1 thousandth, which is equal to 5 thousandths. And we will write out 0 and 5 thousandths. In expanded form, we have 50 plus 4 plus 6 hundredths plus 5 thousandths. And that concludes the lesson on writing numbers in expanded form. I hope this helps you out.